Welcome to Comic Book Overview, the show that brings comics to life. Before we begin, it would mean a lot to me if you would just hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss out on future episodes. With that said, let's begin. Do it with The Incredible Hulk, issue number 396, published by Marvel, titled Frostbite. Dr. Octopus is having a bad day. While trying to get some R&R &R on the Vegas Strip, he is rudely asked to leave because of his nefarious reputation. Needless to say, he does not take this request very well. In an act of rage, he flails his arms about, tossing casino employees across the floor. In the melee, a tentacle smashes into a slot machine, dispensing the coins onto the floor. In the process of collecting his fortune, Octavius is unaware of the green Goliath's approach. Spouting insults to what Doc Ock perceives as a common bouncer, the Hawk retaliates with a thunderclap, temporarily disabling the Doctor, but not his claws. Mildly impressed, Bruce uses the arms as moorings to reel the opponent in. Octavius, not believing his eyes, is shocked to find out who the pinstripe bouncer really is. With a flick of the finger, he is subdued. With the good Doctor wrapped up, Banner then proceeds to put the evening's plans into motion. Shortly in Camelot Casino, Paris visits Mr. Barangetti's murderer in an attempt to join his ranks. He divulges that Mr. Fixit will be buying a shipment of drugs that night at Acme Storage. In exchange for the time and address, he wants a place in his organization. Stryker agrees, but has Frost remind him, if it's a trap, Paris won't live to regret it. Across town, Rick finishes off a set with his band and then approaches Marlo, Betty, and Jacqueline. Miss Shore tells Rick that she is sorry for the pain her presence has caused him, but that she thought that he would want to know that she was still alive and that she loves him. In a burst of anger, he tells her maybe after all these years, she doesn't even know what he wants. Jackie turns to leave, voicing her regret for just showing up in his life right now. Rick stops her and tells her, he doesn't know what he wants, but maybe she should stay around until he does. The two embrace as their estranged mother bites her lower lip so hard it bleeds. Later that night, Mr. Fixit, along with the Punisher, posing as Mr. Towers, complete a drug transaction. Hector verifies the goods as Frank presents the money. Suddenly, a familiar voice interrupts the deal. Stryker tells Fixit to hand over the money and the drugs. In return, he won't submit the picture he just took of him into police custody. Hawk pretends to acquiesce to his commands as he baits him into admitting in front of everyone that he gave the orders to eliminate Mike Barangetti. Having what he needed, Hawk gives the word and a squadron of Vegas finest pops out of the background headed by Detective Sanchez herself, ordering an arrest of Sam Stryker. Frost opens fire as Vegas PD returns the favor. Hector draws a plasma shield protecting himself and his fellow Pantheons as Stryker is caught in the leg by the crossfire. Frost, realizing his options, makes a bolt for it, but is pursued by the Punisher himself. Frank opens fire, hitting the target square in the chest, but the Frost retaliates with a limousine. A helicopter appears overhead, telling Frost that he is under arrest, but the mob enforcer leaps into the helicopter, casting the pilot and co-pilot to the ground below. Luckily, the Hawk is there to catch him. Quickly, the Jay Goliath incapacitates the chopper by taking out the rear rudder, causing the vehicle to smash into Camelot Casino. Inside, the two continue their brawl as Frost applies his cryo ability while reveling in the momentary victory. The Hawk bursts out of his cocoon and hefts his opponent over his head before throwing him into the display case of medieval armory. Frost recovers and sends Excalibur at the Hawk he dodges his sword and returns a table. While occupied with the table, Hawk skewers Frost with a lance, pinning him to the wall. Again, the two adversaries lock arms. Hawk quickly grabs Frost's head and pops it off like a cork and explodes into a cloud of white powder. Bruce, realizing that he has had enough, returns to Acme Storage, relieved to see that Sanchez, Frank, 
and the Pantheons had the situation all wrapped up. When suddenly Sanchez realizes she has seen Frank's face before, but she doesn't know where. As it dawns on her, she turns to arrest him, but Castle is gone, while Ulysses and Banner play ignorant to her claim. There you have it, the end of the Hawk Punisher Viva Las Vegas story arc. If you can, please pick up these two issues for yourself. Because of time restraints, I could not show every panel and had to omit some parts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that you will be aware when the next video drops. Until then, comic addicts, keep reading.